The subcommittee is meeting today to hear testimony in examining impacts of federal natural resources laws gone astray. Chair now recognizes Ms. Pinto for her testimony. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Ranking Member, for the opportunity to testify, testify before you today. My name is Kendra Pinto, and I'm from Twin Pines, located in the Eastern Agency of the Navajo Nation in northern New Mexico. I live near Chaco Canyon in the San Juan Basin, often called the American Cradle of Civilization, where the Anasazi flourished between 900 AD and 1300 AD. Laws of the Navajo Nation and the United States of America should protect people, our lands, and our health. I am here today to tell you how important federal regulations are to my community. I was born in Chiprock, New Mexico, and raised in Twin Pines. I have always known New Mexico as my home, so it's appropriate that I share with you how I feel about the land. Growing up, there was no such thing as boundaries. We were free to roam the valleys and mountains so long as we did not cause harm. The scenery is breathtaking and vast. On particular peaks in the area, I can spot Colorado, Utah, and Arizona, all in one quick sweep. My family did not just come upon Chaco, nor are we new to the land. My grandma was born less than half a mile away from where she currently resides. She's 92 years old. The oil and gas extraction in my community has caused a host of problems, from air pollution to truck traffic damaging our roads. The light pollution is increasing near and around Chaco, Chaco Cultural National Historic Park with each well site that is created. In July of 2016, there was a massive explosion in a nearby community. The WPX well site fire in Naizi, New Mexico forced the evacuation of 55 residents. Some have yet to return. 36 storage units holding oil and fracking fluid caught fire and exploded. The closest home sits less than 350 feet away. I can still hear those explosions, each sounding like a pop as the fire grew and became visible over the mountains. A young boy near the explosion site continues to be traumatized by the experience today. As is clear from the air testing we've done and the latest scientific data clearly shows, oil and gas air pollution impacts people's health. Results from my air monitoring near Lybrook Elementary School revealed something rather alarming. Hydrogen, elevated hydrogen sulfide levels at 7.6 micrograms per cubic meter. Hydrogen sulfide is commonly emitted by natural gas wells. Long-term exposure is associated with incidents of respiratory infections, irritation of the eyes and nose, coughing, breathlessness, nausea, headache, and mental symptoms, including depression. Federal standards like the BLM methane waste rule can lessen these harms and help protect our air and health. By capturing methane, oil and gas companies can also capture other air pollutants, reducing the amount of toxic, volatile, organic compounds that currently vent, flare, or leak into our air. This rule has a side benefit of preserving the resource operators wish to sell to market while protecting royalty revenues owed to taxpayers. Without a rule to curb methane emissions on public lands, we allow the industry to burn our money and our health away. I hope the explosion that devastated my community and the air pollution that is currently harming us illustrate why we must protect our sacred lands, water, and air resources. American and Navajo law must reinforce the support, not undermine it. Accordingly, Congress and the BLM should strengthen federal protections like the BLM's fracking and methane rules. There is nothing wrong with demanding clean air and clean water. Everyone here needs those two things. Thank you for your time.